it's hard to imagine the situation in Venezuela getting any worse. But that's exactly what's happening this morning as the country struggles to cope with yet another day of critical power outages. Overnight, with Venezuela in chaos, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo pulling all remaining U.S. diplomatic personnel out of the country. The secretary citing the deteriorating situation in Venezuela, now in the sixth day of a blackout in much of the country. With hospitals crippled, schools and stores closed, and reports of protesters and looters on the streets. Families now so desperate, they're gathering water at drainage pipes next to this contaminated river. Amid the blackouts, oil exports grinding to a halt, which is making Venezuela's economic crisis even worse. President Maduro addressing the blackout last night, accusing America of sabotaging the infrastructure as part of a plot to overthrow the embattled leader, the US denying it's interfered in the power grid. Meanwhile, Juan Guaido, the opposition leader currently recognized as the country's president by over 50 nations, trying to declare a state of emergency and allow the government to seek foreign aid. And that aid desperately needed. It's not just dirty water that people are drinking, they're also eating rotting food in order to survive. The situation in the capital, Caracas, this morning described as desperate.